Good afternoon, everyone. This is self-education. Please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm so we can get this video moving around so plenty of people can have education. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and feel free to comment down below. Today's topic, we are going to talk about one of my favorite books, which is The Outsiders by William Thorndike. It is, I mean, as far as business, this is my top, this is one of my top picks. Okay, so the biggest takeaway that I had from The Outsiders by William Thorndike Jr. is uh, there's only five, you know, there's only really five uses uh, for capital, you know, to, to allocate resources eff uh, efficiently as a CEO. And as a CEO of a business, it's the CEO's job is the biggest thing they can do to boost shareholder returns and just be a, just create uh, value for the business is to use the resources that they have and they use it efficiently. So, what are the five uses that you you can use for uh, for your your uh, free cash flow? Well, the first one is. You can invest in existing operations, you know, that could make the business more efficient. Um, it, you know, it could be, there's a lot, there's a lot of positives there that you could do, you know, you can make it quicker, more efficient, uh, better for the customer, you know, all these things that are, that might grow, you know, like same store sales, if it's applicable for that business or, um, you know, it's just, it'll make a more efficient, better business. And the second one, it's similar, but would be to acquire other companies or merge with other companies. Okay, so it's real similar, but again, you have to do that efficiently. You know, you can't just buy any company you want. And it might not always make, a sen make sense to invest in your own business. That's why you have to pick through these five and you have to do them at the right time and you have to be good at, good at doing that. The third one would be to pay down debt, okay? So if the interest rate on that debt is pretty high for a business, you know, for the, for the business, it might make more sense to pay down that high interest debt before inv investing in your existing operations or before you try to acquire other businesses and grow so th that's another thing is uh that that's one one metric to look at why it make might make more sense to pay down debt before you know trying to grow or make do it do a make your business more efficient so the last two are not going to apply to if you have a private business but anything i said prior uh you could definitely use to you know those are really your only three options you know, as far as uh, running a business. So it's, it's, it makes it really simple. It's simple guidelines. Uh, you could apply this to your own business as well. That, that might be a good tool for you. But these are good metrics to use for, you know, evaluating how the CEO of a company is doing as well. Okay, so the last two would be to pay a dividend. Okay, so... It's, it's important to ask, why would a company pay a dividend? You know, are they, it, um, you know, it talks about in the book, it, it doesn't always make sense to, because if um, it's taxed at the corporate level, and then it's taxed again, again, it's taxed again at the individual level. So it's taxed inefficient. So it, if, unless, you know, if, any other metric that you use, if it dividends, kind of the last option just to distribute capital back to the shareholder. Uh, to me, it's kind of a last resort. It just it it kind of shows that you don't have any better way to you know invest it better you know re to provide a better return. So you're just going to return it back to the shareholder. And then the last one would be to buy back shares. Okay. So you can issue shares in a stock and you can buy them back. Okay, so when you when you buy back shares, you're reducing the amount of shares outstanding, which let's say you own 
let's say you own one percent of the company that you're investing in. If you buy, if a company bought back half the shares, you know your your growth, your uh, you'd own fifty percent more of the company, and you didn't, you never bought a single single another share of the of the company. So it is an amazing tool. You know, you, you, imagine like a pizza. You just got a bigger piece of the pie, and you didn't, you never, you didn't ever do in one thing. Okay, so those would be the five things, and and that that's my biggest takeaway I had from the outsiders is uh, it's a CEO's job to allocate capital and do it efficiently. So most people they just you know they see the CEO and they're they're just in charge of the employees and this and that, but you know they have the glamorous life, but. Um, for a CEO to do their job well, they have to do those five things well. Okay, so um, there's a lot more to the book. I suggest uh, you read it if you haven't already. Uh, or, you know, get an audiobook of it. it it's just it's a really great book. I've read it several times. Uh, maybe we'll do another one of these. There's more in that book, I you know, that's uh, really important to talk about as well. Um... I'm not going to make the video too long, so, uh, and maybe we'll do some more book reviews too. Uh, this has been a lot of fun doing this, so, uh, I'll see you in the next one, self-education, see you next time.